Um, and I think that's a good thing that the political class is, uh, is not going to go away because um, I actually think that uh, consciously or unconsciously it has allowed for uh, people to get not as angry as they are uh, in America right now with their um, Tea Party and the infamous <laughs> Sarah Palin, but, um, but I've noticed uh, what I would call a, an Orwellian uh, desire to engage with society. And I've noticed that uh, at, at different levels, um, very much promoted by this um, internet age where you can uh, YouTube your message to politicians, or indeed, as we saw with Gordon Brown, he, they can YouTube their message to us. Um, you can follow Sarah Brown on uh, Twitter, and, uh, and my God, you know, she's got a million, 100,000 um, uh, people who are following her. And, um, and you can uh, use the internet to engage with politics at a very different level. Um, but there are three particular areas where I see kind of the green shoots of, of hope. And I, and I have to say, it takes Helena to make me turn into the Pollyanna of politics because uh, until I heard her being, um, uh, being quite so negative about um, our political system, uh, I, I didn't think I was quite as positive as I am. Um, but the, the three areas that I think just tell a completely different story. They tell the story of, um, of a people who are really interested in making a difference, of a people who are uh, very engaged in political issues, are Mumsnet, Teach First, and My Generation. And just very briefly, you know, Mumsnet, I know we are, we've all made fun of I mean, I've made fun of Mumsnet because it's middle class, it's well-educated group of moms, uh, maybe touching a million during certain lunch hours, you know. Um, but, heck, when Gordon Brown tried to do uh, his uh, cutting of the childcare ta uh, tax credit, they got campaigning and they made it happen. You know, they made him do a U-turn. And as a mother, I think you know it was it was absolutely breathtaking. It really was fantastic. And these were women who, you know, I don't know how they will vote in the election. I don't know whether they voted before the election, but they certainly took a political stance. Teach First, another incredible idea. Uh, in fact, I remember we discussed it with Jean. Um, you know, some of the best and the brightest graduates are being drawn to a profession that until five minutes ago, well, until 2002, actually, um, was, was considered, you know, for the, for the don'ts, for, uh, for, the, for the people who really, really couldn't make it, and so they were coming to teach our children. Um, and instead, Teach First, has uh, harnessed this incredible youthful brilliance and, and idealism and vigor and, um, and made them, you know, harnessed them to come in, teach our children before they go on, before these youngsters go on to, um, uh, to I'm sure, highfalutin careers. Um, and yes, some of it is with the promise that um, there are some very big uh, private corporations that are uh, in cahoots with Teach First and are uh, eyeing up these, you know, young, uh, young pretenders to the to the throne. But but it's a fantastic idea, and most of the young people I've met who've done Teach First are really motivated by the sense of wanting to change things, of of wanting to roll up their sleeves and engaging with what they see as uh, people of, of, you know. Much less, uh, uh, much less fortune, and um, and so I think that they're amazing. And the third one was uh, was my generation, which uh, I have to say it, it, it's one of those uh, extraordinary things where you have you know young black uh, former gang member, uh, six foot six, a uh, big burly boy, um, who is going to uh, be a Tory candidate. I mean, he is a Tory candidate in Hammersmith, and is so motivated by uh, what I would call um, idealism that he has been working for the past 10 years uh, changing his neighborhood. It's a very local um, uh, enterprise, but Sean Bailey has made something incredible. And he did it outside the political class. You know, he is a real 
outsider, especially when you think about the Tory party that was. Um, and yet, he's he's made it. And and you know, there are there are uh, youth groups there. He has um, uh, counselling for young uh, children, young children, youngsters who might otherwise be in uh, become gang members, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think that what these three very different enterprises show us is that the political class <coughs> may be weakened. But by heck, you know, people are really interested in politics and doing something about it.